can check my deliveries two transactions one is the sewm prdi if i want to check all inbound deliveries prdi this is one transaction or another transaction i can always check in a monitor okay this is a most powerful uh, um, analytical tool where you can see everything it is asking my warehouse it is asking my um, standard warehouse monitor this is a standard one what we are trying to present here is a sap best practice system so that lot of configurations is existing here okay so i can see my deliveries this is the monitor looks like see all outbound inbound physical inventory dock bins stock and bin resource management product master data labor management billing material flow there are several things we have and if i want to see single single delivery i can always go for prdi this is one option how i can track my delivery data if you have hundreds thousand deliveries as i said people use advance shipping notification or a logistic execution delivery ele means if s4 delivery is called the logistic execution delivery or you can see purchase order manufacturing and so on so okay for for, for our understanding as i said i'm going to use advance shipping notification because the real time major time user advance shipping notification see the delivery distributed we have created two products the two products the quantity is yeah the quantity is here and also you can see status packing status completed because already packed earlier goods received unloading not started put away not started these are the status of each line items and this is the header level it looks like header level can always switch into form view what is the document type delivery goods received their status there are several things we can see here and the asn you can see and you can always see even uh, uh, even item level also what are the product and uh, and there is a wpt is there don't worry we will discuss later and uh, there is a whereas process type means that is called movements whereas movements and um, what is the staging bin and the goods movement bin and what is the stock type that so on so we can always see this okay and also even document flow also you can see more on this okay whatever the delivery purchase order every information we can see here okay i can create a, a um, even follow a warehouse activities like you know you want to unload means you can create a warehouse activities but i am not performing here as i said in real time you will connect this delivery to the transportation unit okay so i am going to connect transportation before that as i said i can always see even inbound delivery in here also monitor also so through monitor i have several option i can use inbound delivery even document type several option i can i can track my delivery so as i said asn advance shipping notification so this delivery so how we, you can you have a provision to set up your layout so that can always see what is the see put away loading i can always see my item levels how many items i have and here also i uh, we can always set up layouts so that you can see all the status put away control quantity purchase so all the information you can see that as of now if you look at any warehouse task is there so no warehouse task is created okay i am going to attach transportation in it now before unloading into the staging area you know already you know the warehouse you know. so using the transaction okay transport in it in, it, in a real time you connect the this delivery to the transportation unit so this looks like this transportation unit what you have to do is we have option of creating a transportation unit it is asking what is the means of transport okay what is the means of transport this is a truck just you can put a truck and what kind of a packing material as i said uh, packing material means the container uh, even a uh, transportation unit if the trailer the box am right the vehicle box if you see a lorry if is connected a box am right big box that is called that itself is a packing material so that is called packing material is asking the packing what kind of packing material in a real time we use a generic packing material as a container and what kind of process see the transportation unit is the remain same for inbound outbound system is asking shipping and receiving is it inbound is it outbound 
so you can select what kind of thing so you say that inbound just you run through this one so system creates a tu transportation in it and now as you know that we have a four doors are in that i said is we have a several doors which door is empty real time it's a very difficult to track it so i can always select assign the door from here see there is option is called i can assign the door here so you can assign the door and the system suggests which door is vacant for me out of four see as of now i have a four doors are vacant now see this flag source is a vacant doors so i can select any empty door so just save it okay and now i'm going to attach my delivery my recent shipping for this transportation unit how i can do that i have several options whether i can use free deliveries free items if i want to perform single item if i want to perform all the hu based so just i am going one option free deliveries you need to search your deliveries so as i said i can use advance shipping notification i can use a delivery delivery even purchase order several options i have a, I have a several provision to do that but real time which one you are going to use asn early deliver most of the time sometime document ewm delivery document rather than early delivery document so most of the time in a real time we use for this one so i'm trying to see now i got 159 you know that when we create a delivery okay sorry here we are so it's gone already okay you know already the delivery number right 159 so the same the 159 you are going to assign the delivery to here so select this delivery you assign here okay you already assign we know assign you can always see the delivery is attached here it is trying to say where is where is going to unload here and is saying what are the items in that in the in the delivery and uh, any hus relevant see there is a one hu that hu having two products okay under the doors now what i am going to do is just i am trying to save here and uh, what i am going to do real time one second trying to draw something okay wonderful okay so as we discussed them right we have a several doors we have we have a staging area now i am attaching the transportation in it to dock it here this door and i'm trying to unload here you know that hu is already there here that means the truck is having already hu here okay that's what i'm doing now i'm trying to create a very where of task for this to unload here through this one only see that we have a provision to create a warehouse task to unload this one okay so this is hu i can always create a task here before that one what i can say that i have a provision means like i can say that my transport is in an arrival that means it should cross from the checkpoint now say that checkpoint so planned become active and also you see the door now planned status and i can say that my transportation in it it is coming to the door now i am saying arrival at the door so now my plant become active so both transportation in it both my door are active so i can create my unloading warehouse task directly here only you can create here but in real time sometime uh, in a in a inbound clerk am right inbound administrator in you may create warehouse task here even sometime people will use rfu there are several provisions where we can create warehouse task for unloading okay i am trying to create warehouse tasks here see the task is created now this is a source of task is created here see there is a warehouse task here okay is created and the system source when you where is the destination area the system is already proposing is a gr zone area that means staging area then just save it 